Y yeah, I don't think I don't think we're all gonna need to dress up in tuxedos, but uh, I don't know. Just a uh, casual will probably be fine. I'm I'm probably not gonna dress up. Ah, <sighs> okay. I just, you know, I, I don't know anyone there, really, except you. I mean, we don't really go to these things. Well, don't worry about it. If it sucks, we can bail. Okay. Okay. That, that sounds good, Cliff. <laughs> From the See chat, Cliff then. is done dressing up for a while. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. And, uh... Oh yes, and then canonically, canonically, the the goth kids are are now back in school, or at least these ones are. Uh, let's see. So then, um, Francis, you sit next to next to Jezebel. He says hello, and she looks at you and she's like, "Man, that was that that was kind of crazy. I'm sorry. Oh. Sorry." <laughs> Yeah, it's a little crazy, but I think we should talk about this later. Oh, well, okay. And uh, and then meanwhile, Matilda turns around to Cliff and is like, she she waits until you're done talking to Echo, and then she waits like a little bit longer just to make sure. And then she turns around and is like, okay, Cliff. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so, so are you done? Okay. Uh, so, um. Have we made any progress on the locker front? Ah, uh, no. Man, we need to. What if there's vampire secrets in there? <laughs> well, you need I mean... to. Why don't you check the part of the of the lockers where no one ever is? There's there's a place like that, right? You know, I mean, I don't know. It's the craziest thing. I've already tried twice. There's only twelve lockers in there. I've already been there twice. It's the craziest Cliff! thing. I haven't found this yet. Why are you so bad at this? <laughs> <laughs> look, Cliff, you're the only boy that we have that can look in these lockers. Alright, I just had a curiosity. Is this person talking to this guy right here? Oh, it's Matilda, and she's talking to Cliff, so the, yeah, the, the steampunk the goggles, goggles on her head. Is, is turning around talking to Cliff. Ah. And, and when she says, you're the only boy we have, like, she says it a little bit louder than she probably should have. So, Francis, you can, you can listen in on that to, to do this and go and figure out what the secret is. Fair enough, I'll all over here, but I won't do anything with that right now. Uh, fine, I'll get the stupid locker today, maybe. I'll try to find it today, again. Okay. And, uh, let's see, lol, you sit, you sit in the back, you've got $250! Spend it on wolf porn. Yay. Yeah, right in the middle of class. <laughs> <laughs> Download it onto your Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Or was it XP? SP? There was an SP, that was the one that flipped up. SP. Yeah, it had a I don't know, I kind of like I kind of like Game Boy XP. Because that was a really good OS. Mm-hmm. So, uh, oh. so, let's see. Um, the, 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 the cool kids over here, they're kind of like, are the, the punk kids, they're like, they're talking, they're like, Alec, you hear Alex saying like, oh, I guess this weekend is that t is Tiffany's big party. Oh boy! Woo! She puts her makes her finger go in a circle, and uh, and Jamie's like, yeah, because I know we all want to show up to that. I don't know. I might show up for fun. They're talking like that, and they're just like, yeah, like I want to go to a popular kids party. And Matilda, I'm uh, sorry, not Matilda. Melissa is the smoking girl. Is gonna be like. You know, she booked the Abe's for for the band. I heard I from the <laughs> Abe's. They're uh, they're the band. I heard from Tim, so it looks like I'm stuck going no matter what. Because I mean, I gotta go help them set up and everything. And they're like, "Oh, really? Hey, well, maybe this will be the year that we finally go." I mean, it's Tiffany's parents are loaded, and I've I mean, I know last year they had a bouncy castle, so that that seems pretty pretty all right. A bouncy castle. A bouncy castle. Last year they were like, <laughs> they were like fourteen. Come on, bouncy castle. Oh my ironic bouncy castle. <laughs> right, totally. Can Cheers. I have an ironic bouncy castle this time? Because that would be pretty cool. Yeah, fuck yes, it's gonna be. There's gonna be like a whole inflatable theme park. It's gonna be so ironic. There's the the bouncy castle and then like the slide. 
And then, like, the thing where you, like, try to climb up it, and if you fall, it's okay, because it's all bouncy and inflatable. I don't know. I don't remember all the ones. And a slip and slide. Uh, so, so it's gonna be super cool. And so they're like, oh yeah, maybe we will go, because, you know, it's... So the Abes are gonna be there. And Melissa turns to you and says, Lol, are you going to this party thing this weekend? Was I ever directly invited to this thing? I genuinely No, nah, everyone's remember. everyone's invited. Um it's it's a thing that she always does. Okay. Uh hmm. You know, I I hadn't given it much thought. Party scenes have never been really my strong suit. People get a little uneasy around me. This <laughs> is like, yeah, I wonder why. And the other girls laugh. And they're like, I, I'm not well, saying they don't have a reason. I, just, I feel unwelcome. And she's like, well, the Abes are gonna be there, so if you like the show, then that's our next gig. Yeah, I'll think about it. I've had a lot on my mind. I'm, I might have something else I need to go do. And she's like, she like rolls her eyes at you being mysterious. And so she's like, whatever. Because y'all were mysterious before and you ditched out on her. So, and with that, uh, yeah. um, I don't know, the lecture is about uh, Chimere and where to find them. I don't know, I've been playing Unholy Heights. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson number one, don't go looking for them. <laughs> yeah. Um, how to breed a Chimera. Starting with a goat, a snake, and a lion. And a right, whole of lot of duct tape. <laughs> oh of dear. Alright, so uh, so that's it for Defense Against the Dark Arts. So now let's go let's go to gym. Stupid gym class. Me 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 me. Stupid lockers. Stupid school. I hate school. My life is so hard. Oh, it's so hard to be a teen! Oh, right. There you are. All right, gym class. Yay! Yay! Dodgeball. 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 Cliff Edge. Yes. Does he? Does he remember to look who has a locker? Does he even have to roll at this point? Hasn't he run out of lockers to check? Probably. There's only twelve lockers in here. <laughs> it can't possibly Good. be this hard to find. There are more implied lockers. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll roll. For Each that. one of those blocks is theoretically five feet by five feet. <laughs> <laughs> They're just really big lockers. Uh oh shit, what is my dark score? Let me look that up. It is zero. Nope. <sighs> Damn it, Cliff. Okay. But I got an XP. So, it's like, because you've done this, like, three times, and this is fucking ridiculous. So I'm going to say that you finally have exhausted all the lockers in the in the gym. It is literally the last locker. Yeah, there are <laughs> no more. What happened was you were checking them at random, and, uh, <laughs> because you figure you would run across it randomly rather than going through it sequentially, and the very first locker that you would have picked sequentially was the locker. And I get to the locker, and I'm like, okay. This is the anyway, last this is... locker in this whole damn gym room. This has got right. to be it's, it. It's like all the way in the back on the very bottom of all the stacks of lockers. It's got Fine, like let's, spider webs. Let's, let's and... do this and open this. This has got to be it. If this isn't it, I'm done. I'm yeah. just done. Hey, you wait, this is my in. locker. <laughs> <laughs> you put the key Oops. in and you... <laughs> it's Cliff's locker all along. <laughs> you put the key in <laughs> and you turn it and the key finally works. The lock disengages Ugh, and the finally. locker swings open. Inside, you immediately recognize Clarence's wallet. Ah. So you know you found the right place. Um, you also find uh, two vials 
uh, that have have some sort of black liquid in them that's probably blood, and uh, and then a folder, a manila envelope that is full of documents. Uh, can I thumb through the documents real quick and uh, look at, see what's up? Like, get yeah, an you, idea you, of what they are. You take a peep uh, in there, and uh, and you see that uh, there are pictures of, uh, of the goth kids hmm. uh, from this year, and also from last year, and some notes on what they've been doing. Huh. So you 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 don't you are you recognize the goth kids from this year, but then there's another picture that's supposed to be them before, but you don't you don't you're not sure if those are the same people. Yeah, they they look completely different. Yeah. And that, so that's sort that's, of the source of the huh. Yeah, so you're you're not sure what this is all about, but it looks like Damien was was monitoring them for some reason. Oh my god, is Echo still hot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see, you see a picture of Echo like at her house. They're not and, that kind of pictures. And you're like, how did he take this picture of Echo? Like, obviously not knowing that she was being photographed in her house. And you're like, Ugh. oh man, she just got weird. Ugh. Ugh. Huh. All, right. All right. I pocket the stuff and I keep you also Clarence's, Clarence's wallet, wallet just in case I run into him at some point. Wink. Which has his passport and it doesn't have any money in it, and it has his his student ID and uh, and his discount card <laughs> for uh, is it well his library card and also his his discount card for, for the, um, the aquarium store. Hot topic. Yeah. Hot, <laughs> Hot topic. <laughs> no, that's too that's too useful. Um, it's no, it's, his, it's, it's for his, the aquarium his, store. Oh yeah, for the for the aquarium, like his his frequent aquarium member card. Yes. And yeah. also and also one of those discount cards for a frozen yogurt place. <laughs> uh, I, I shouldn't I steal. I think you should you should get a positive condition if you keep the frozen yogurt card. I shouldn't steal his frozen yogurt card. Oh my god. You're rich. You don't need a discount. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need a discount on frozen yogurt clip edge. It, it but, adds but up. But it's a discount. Well, every. <laughs> Do well, you take the discount card? No, take I it. leave the Wait discount the card. Roll the I roll the hold steady to keep the discount. <laughs> it's a locker that has. I I leave the discount card person. where it is. All right. Actually, no, I I didn't get a ten, so I pick it up and I look at it for a second. You, but I wait, put it I back in it. the wallet. You put it back in the wallet with a promise to buy yourself a full price frozen yogurt. Yes, but I'm going to yeah. hold on to in case I run into Clarence at some point in the future. I'm ever in France. <laughs> France, in Atlantica. France. Underwater France. Or if we ever end up with that uh, Psych Ragni guest episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you talk guys, about... You're leaking. Don't talk about the revenge of Clarence. <laughs> That's a special episode. A very special episode. Clarence's of revenge. Hunt. He's back. He brought friends. Angry friends from prison. <laughs> Angry friends from prison. They're not afraid to go back. No, no they're not. <laughs> from French Canada. <laughs> he's, so... the nicest, he's the nicest villain I've ever seen. He is. He kills you with kindness. Oh. All right. Um, I don't know what else is gonna go on during gym. Let's. You can. We can play dodgeball. Uh, I approach <laughs> Dick Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> oh right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I tell him I'm thinking about it, and I I want to join the team. It's like yeah. All right, bruh. We meet uh like every Tuesday Thursday. Uh, what day for... is it now? It's Friday. Okay. So he's, he's like, yeah, we meet we meet Tuesday Thursday for practice, uh, right after school, and then usually afterwards it's like dinner time. So we all like go out and get pizza. I love pizza. I mean, who doesn't love pizza? Pizza, great. Now I actually legitimately want to order pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and and he's like, good to have you on the team, little my man. He slaps you on the back. I I slap him back on the volatile. back. Volatile, not <laughs> volatile. <laughs> I roll volatile to slap him on the back. Do you smile? 
Do I smile? Uh, should I ho roll to hold steady about smiling? <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. How yes. how jazzed are you feeling, Lil? Roll to hold steady versus revealing how how excited jazzed. you are. Jazzed. This thing. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> you, you are pumped. You do not hold steady. You are excited. Yeah, you are like, no, I'm go. You're, you're smiling. You're feeling great. Uh, request that Lowell get the condition pumped. Okay. <laughs> it's pumped again. Ooh, and I leveled up. Pumped. Pizza and Calvin Ball, my two weaknesses. That's good. There, you now have the pumped condition. <laughs> Guard, oh, I saw Baxi DMing. I, I leveled up, but I already told you what I'm taking. It's All a right. secret. Okay, so with that, I think that's... I don't know if anyone else wants to do anything in gym? It's dodgeball. We all just hit ourselves with balls. Dodgeball happens. Every gym class is dodgeball. <laughs> Everybody roll volatile for dodgeball. Yes! Did I Did I get into dodgeball, or was I too busy? Uh, you, you that's up today. to you. I'm gonna throw one dodgeball. Okay. Oh, Francis got someone. Wow, Molly. Boom! Oh, so yeah. Francis and Cliff, you each bean someone in the face. Who do you choose? Uh, I think it should be Cliff and Francis hit each other. Yeah, we just bean each other in <laughs> okay, the face simultaneously. So you, yes, and you're like right <laughs> on, on other sides of the line, like facing each other, like a foot away, and you both throw a dodgeball into each other's face as hard as you can. <laughs> and then you fall on the ground, and you get back up, and you point at each other, and you're like, dodgeball. And we're just like, yeah, dodgeball. <laughs> good, good. Good hustle. Good dodgeball. Team. Good dodgeball. <laughs> dodgeball, dodgeball. Molly just kind of shakes her head. All right. So next, let's go to lunch. Oh, Lord. I missed dodgeball. That was fun. Maybe at next PAX, we do Scottish drop dodgeball. Oh, my God. Gather your pods. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. I don't want to. Trench is better than dodgeball. I was too busy thinking about dodgeball. Dodgeball. I was too, I was too busy thinking about dodgeball. dodgeball. I was real good in the dodging part, not the balling part. I'm always good at the balling part. I was better at dodging than balling, but... I was always the last one to get hit. Maybe it's just because people didn't like me and they didn't throw the ball at me, but... I Wait, they short... didn't like you so they didn't throw the ball at you? They just wanted to pretend I wasn't there, I guess. Oh. Aww. Aww. I was kind of short, so kind of the ball just kind of whizzed over my head. <laughs> the balls whizzed over your head? Yeah. <laughs> I used Freak. to be able to jump like four feet straight up, so I would always be jumping over the balls. It's like, guys, I'm kind of short. All right, Lol, you you show up to uh, to lunch and you find yourself sitting sitting by yourself because your buddy Vara's not at school today. Because well, she you know, was I, really sick from I, throwing up cheese fries all over <laughs> Fenris' lawn. <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen her around all day. I would assume she's not showing up, so I probably just would have made my way. <laughs> God damn it, Dick Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Rich, that Rich, fucking Richard name. Thompson. Oh, man. Dvac, you're pretty pro at names. I know I've said this before, <laughs> but... I am best at names. Oh man. Um so you sit down they're like, Hey, what's up? How are you? And uh and Dick is gonna look at you and be like, So what's up? What's your deal, lol? Like, you know, what why what's your you know, what's your story? What do you wanna know? Like it's, it's, it's a long story. I don't story. know, man. You got parents, so they have jobs, you know, I that have kind an of stuff. Uncle. You got hobbies. I, what does I your uncle do? He's a trucker. He's never around. I think he might be back within the next couple of days, but right now he's out. Oh, man, that must be rough. Yeah, I get the house to myself. I can just kind of get away with doing whatever. What What? what did Dick Johnson's parents do? Oh, Mechanic man. and... Uh, I feel like... His dad I feel is like, like an investment dad... banker. Something like that. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, I see. So he's like, yeah, uh, my dad, you know, he's he's got his business job, and my mom, you know, she's she stays at home, takes care of me and my three brothers. He seems like oh. he seems like a guy who would have a lot of brothers. Mm -hmm. How is how is it having like tons of people around? 
Oh man. You know, you know, man, it's great sometimes and it's miserable other times. I'm the oldest, so I take care of my younger brothers and uh I try to try to be a good example for him, you know. Yeah. Well, that sounds nice. And uh let's see, who else? Do you want do you want to talk to anyone else at the table? Find out more about them? Sure, what's Jack Sweeney's story? <laughs> All right. Jack Sweeney is the guy that you keep displacing in calculus. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's he's the worst player on the Calvin Ball team, but he's still very athletic. Um, he's just not as good as the other players. I'm assuming his father is a barber. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> In the original picture that I used for Jack Sweeney, he's actually holding a video game controller, but I couldn't get that in the picture, so I made Aww. him a jock instead. Because he looks really generic. Um, so, so Jack Sweeney, uh, he is... Um, no, it's, it's Sweeney Todd who's the, who's the barber. Oh, yeah. It's the other way. So, uh, let's the say that... Barber. Maybe his father is Todd Sweeney. Yeah, his father is Todd <laughs> Sweeney, who, and he's a barber. And uh, his mother is Helena Bonham Carter, <laughs> and uh, and they're here from from Europe land, um, Monster Europe, and um, oh, Europe. That's where Clarence is from. But but he's <laughs> uh, you know you Clarence? know each other. <laughs> <laughs> Europe's uh, a small place, right? But he was but he was raised here in in Monster City. His parents moved here before he was born. They moved here for their jobs. Well, his, no, his mom moved here for her job. She's, um, she's a professor. Where at? At uh, at Monster Monster State. You. Monster State College. The uh, mon- you know Monster State and Monster Tech are of course the two best co- uh, colleges in the in the state of Monster State. Well, of course. <laughs> Monster State. <laughs> that just State. goes without saying. <laughs> and, so we're in Montana. And so, yeah, and, uh, so, so she, yeah, she's a, she's a professor over at the nearby college campus of Monster State University. At the Monster State University Bull Weevils. Right. Oh right, I forgot that I temporarily renamed the school to um, oh, right. <laughs> Cherry High School Tree. <laughs> because I had no idea what the fuck was during Dead Rising. So yeah, Cherry High School Tree is the name of the school until until further notice. And they're the they're the Cherry High School Chupacabras. Yeah, that was good. It's a good name. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Calvin Ball team, Chupacabras. Chupacabras! So, yeah, so they all, like, put their hands in the middle, and they're like, yeah, go Chups! Chups. (laughs) (laughs) Not here during lunch. Yeah, during lunch. Literally during lunch. Every once in a while, they just break into cheers. Yeah, they're just, they're super jazzed about being the the cherry high school tree Chupacabras. (laughs) (laughs) The cherry blossoms are falling outside. (laughs) Constantly. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, all the time. It's just a deluge like of them. There's actually like they have an entire seven. Yeah, it was a deal they made with the fairies. They have a battalion of janitorial staff to clean up all the cherry blossoms every day. Yeah, which is why there's no supervision inside the school. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Francis, you arrive at lunch. All right. Where do you sit? I collect my pog. It's been difficult. I'll make my way over to here because these are basically the only people I know. Yeah, they're like, "Hey, man, what's up, man? That was crazy, wasn't it?" <laughs> yeah, you have no idea. Oh man, so you know stuff about real magic? Yeah, it's kind of a family thing. Can you teach us? Is your family magic? Uh, yes and no. I I should be able to help teach you some stuff though. Because it's funny that you you mentioned all the names and stuff in the Chupacabra. Because the idea was his mother moved him here to get away from weird supernatural stuff, and <laughs> we moved to the monster school. That backfired. The Chupacabra. Well, you know, 
This town seems legit. You just, you just your family just got bad luck. It's like you know, I really want to get away from all this magic stuff and raise Francis upright. Oh man, Monster City. <laughs> it's Maybe. not really called Monster City. <laughs> Maybe. Do you want to name the city right now? Uh, uh, yes, city. Um, Cherry City Tree. <laughs> the city of Townsville. <laughs> <laughs> team of no, town- you're opening a door. We'll never be able to, to is close. Is also not a good name because it's also full of monsters. <laughs> Maybe it's monster um, like the Monster Energy Drink. <laughs> yeah, the Monster Energy Drink Company is, is headquarters. Sponsored a high school. <laughs> Nor- normal Personberg. <laughs> Does the chat have any suggestions? Uh, uh, that's free country USA. That's boring. Red yeah, Snom but... City. Uh, nothing good so far. But... <laughs> oh, no. I like it's gonna be Greenberg or something. No, that's boring. You mean you mean uh, Greenvale? <laughs> Greenvale or Lawndale? Lawndale. 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 Uh... City of Lawndale. It's Lawndale's not a city. Mundaneville. Oh, you'd be surprised. They come from a place called Farmington. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see. It's gonna be. And I was, I'm gonna go with Townsville. Townsville. I like Townsville. The city of Townsville. It's under attack. All right. <laughs> yes, exactly. Always, all the time. So now this is Townsville. Okay. Good thing we have the Powerpuff Girls right over here. At the elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> it's canon now. <laughs> canon. All right. Um. This is then when they grew up. Buttercup is going through her goth phase. All that right. sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> Power buff cannon. Yes. All right. So, uh, <laughs> so they ask anyway. Francis, the the two other the two witch girls, they're like really interested in magic, and they want you to teach them more about magic stuff. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll definitely be able to help you out. It's just a. Uh... Right, right now there's a lot going on, uh, apparently, so we'll have to, to see what happens first, because we probably don't want to be too obvious right now if all this is going on. I say next yeah. to the goth table. <laughs> yeah, what did we see, says Daniela, looking back at the goth table and then looking back at you. She's like, what? what's, the, what's even happening? I have no idea. Perhaps we should... Uh... Ask, uh, what's her face? He ran off. I, I don't know her name, so I say, what's her face? Jezebel. <laughs> uh, I, I'm saying Francis doesn't know her name, because... Ah, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, and they're like, yeah, she seems way more involved in that with her and her stupid vampire hunter thing. <laughs> now there's... Yeah, he... Yeah, she already knew about the vampires, but he'll fake it. Oh, there's vampires now, too. What do you guess? That'll be the... Like, one of the jocks over there is a werewolf? <laughs> and they're like, no, no, there were no vampires. Uh, there's just like they they just thought there were. You know, back when there was a guy who used to go to the school, he left. He got in a fight with Cliff, uh, this guy Damien, and uh, he got in a fight with Cliff, and uh, Cliff beat him up, and he left the school. And uh, you know, it's a shame because he was really hot, but you know. He was also kind of a douche, so I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty even on the whole thing, to be honest. And Alex is like, yeah, who cares about Damien? And he was kind of a jerk. And I'm uh, hmm. I'm gonna roll the whole city because I know a bit more about that because I have the knife. <laughs> yeah. to shake oh. the guy. <laughs> actually, I never actually I never got him with the knife. I was really bad with that knife. Oh no, I got uh, what's his name? Uh, uh Vlad. I stabbed All right, so um, you either you can keep your cool or you can lose your cool, but get one of the following options: ask me a question, remove a condition, carry one forward during this scene. I'll just keep my cool. All right, you keep your cool, and they're sort of like explaining to you about the whole Damien thing, and and basically the, from the the perspective of people who who didn't know what happened. And uh, and they're like they don't they don't ever think there were any vampires. And they're just like Matilda and Jezebel and Cliff. They like have this little club, uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts Club, and they like want to hunt vampires and Bigfoot or something. I don't know. 
It's not real like ours. Like our club is it's real magic. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, it's not real. There's only a fairy, a ghost. <laughs> they don't know any of these things. They don't know. They, they any were part of, of the spell. They saw it. Oh nope. yeah, now they know. Oh yeah. Now they know. And yeah, well, they're, they're a little too preoccupied with Orville being a ghost to really think too much about Molly being a fae. 